much of Marth and Roy together anymore. Just like the good old days. Anyway, here we go now. Game one. Um, Pokemon Stadium starting out pretty standard. Um, but yeah, good start from MTE, good juggling. Damage building up on the uh, blue team. Is he trying to follow up off? Oh, very unfortunate SD there from Nitro. Roy doesn't exactly have the greatest recovery in the game. So if he air dodges off stage, he's usually in too much lag to be able to make it back reliably. Um, and then, yeah, we got Mortem over there playing Cloud. Goes for a cross slash, but um, barely hit Nitro with the tip, so Nitro managed to fall out there. Um, I mean, MT is doing a really good job right now, just like to say. Um, so, there's a bit of a backstory behind this. MTE really believes in Marth. He thinks Marth is potentially, like, one of the best characters in the game. It's just no one's optimized him yet. Because, yeah, sure, the tipper hit... Okay, very nice kill there from Nitro, but as I was saying, the tipper hitboxes are noticeably smaller and less consistent than they were in Smash 4. But they're really, really strong if you manage... Like, look at that! Uh, tipper up till sending Stas to a rather early grave. MTE has just been practicing Marth all week, grinding on Wi-Fi, coming out to our little grind session last night and playing him in there as well. He is just, he's on fire, I just want to say. He's hes really on fire. Uh, good stuff though to the blue team. Actually, oh wait, I didn't realize he was down to stock. My apologies. Um, no, but seriously though, he just has a lot of faith in this character, so he's been putting a lot of time and effort into him. Marth, he refers to him as a soul main since he made him in every prior Smash game. And honestly, same. But Richter's just too fun for me, but enough about me. Let's talk about this game right now. Um, blue team in a pretty favorable position, but nothing the red team can't come back from. Very nice counter. Oh, taking out both blue team players, and suddenly the momentum has swung and hit to the, uh, the red team's favor. This is very nice. The Fire Emblem boys. Oh, Timber forward smash. Taunting. Let's go, MT. That's my boy. That's my boy up there. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be biased. Like, Mortem and Stas are great too, don't get me wrong. Oh, oh no. All right, the Hero King has found himself in a 2v1. Oh, this is like, oh. Marth versus Garneth and Madius. Oh, parrying the Tipper back, okay. Yeah, good on Mortem and Stas trying to keep him sandwiched. MT knows what's good, he's trying to get out of there, but Mortem and Stas are just really, really good at covering him. I can't help but wonder how this game would have went if Nitro didn't SD at the start. All right. Oh, this, yeah, good follow-up. Sandwich, very nice forward air, poking through the platform. Uh-oh, cross slash, yep, that's it. All right, uh, well played, Mortem and Stas, but still, Nitro, I feel like that could have gone a lot better. MTE's Marth definitely, definitely a, a force to be reckoned with, my gosh. Oh, someone's... I'm sorry, something just caught my eye. Um, someone's playing on a Street Fighter level right now. Uh, and you know, well, I mean, you you know, but not everyone knows that I'm quite the quite a fan of the Street Fighter stage. Love the music. And it's a very pretty stage, too. I love that sunset in the background, you know. It's nice to just sit and watch the sunset sometimes. But no Street Fighter stage on stream at the moment, unfortunately. But there will be if you see me on stream later. That or Dracula. Um, Nitro and MT, I'd imagine they're not too shook from that, uh, that last game. What are, yep, Persona, very nice, very nice. That's MT's pick, you know? We've all got our, um, well, I mean, a few of us, we've got our preferences. Gonard and I, we like, um, Street Fighter. MT really likes Persona, so he, he takes the, uh, takes it to the Persona stage. Here we go. Game two. Now, this is a best of three set since it's not a finals, but... All right. Something I want to point out, which I only learned about from watching Melee Grand Finals at Big House uh, the other day. I never realized that if you start on the platform on Battlefield, like if you're on the top platform, you're technically at a disadvantage. A neutral start would be when neither, like when both players or both teams are on equal footing and no one's on the top platform. And not that that's made much of an influence, but yes, um, blue team, hello there, Gunner. Blue team is running away. I mean, not running away, but they do have a bit of a lead. Which, oh! oh, oh, oh. Did MTE just get the tip? He did. The Hero King is back. Damn right. Here to liberate us from the... Nitro, I respect that Nitro did actually counter up BOS. Yeah, no. 
I know how you feel about them up B O O S. The frame seven, but long reach up B O O S. I started actually looking at the frame data from uh, Smash Ultimate. Oh, nice catch there from Sauce. Um, but wait, did you say frame seven? Yeah, it's a frame seven uh, up B O O S. Did you know, Richter's is frame six. I know. Did you know Max is frame three? That's good. That's really good. The range is so weak in comparison to those two that it doesn't feel like it does well. Like, it's really good to interrupt combos for frame advantage, but for it's sure. better. If you're getting comboed by a character like Ken or um, who else? This is Cloud's uh, out of shield option in the frames. Wow. You're not here for doing the research, I respect it. No, MTE actually uh, gave me the website for the research. Oh, but I think we should uh, pay attention to the game right now because it's really close. Um, um, Mortimer has a good lead. Oh wait, no, Stoss is at a high percent too. Yeah. One good uh, hit from MTE and Nitro will actually give them the lead. Nitro, oh. no idea for the counter. The double kill has been initiated. Yeah, we got the tipper back here coming out. Yo, MTE, I feel like he was fated to play Marth, honestly. Um, no, no, he was fated to play Incineroar. No, 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 for sure. But I think Marth as well, to be honest with you. Like, he's made Marth in every prior Smash game, and his tips have just been so on point this set. Just like, like even though they lost game one, he was nearly every hit on his first stock was a tipper. He was just on if point. MTE can consistently, if MTE can consistently nail those tippers, he could actually be a better receiver. And now, uh, uh, we fit trader going on a monologue. I, I gotta go play singles now. So go I, I got it from here. I got it from here. I will. I will see you in grand finals, my friend. Oh, we shall see. We shall see. I feel like we're gonna get bodied by more than stars, which is totally the case, unless they get bodied by Nitro and MTE, which will most likely would be the case. MTE doing things, but Mortem's also doing things, sandwiched uh, together. Nitro cannot be doing counters like that. Mortem being a Smash 4 uh, fanatic knows the four glory strats of countering Marths. And Little Max, and Royce, and Lucina's. And going in for the spike, MTE, holy shish kebabs. That was really cool. Like MTE just, he's gonna make the, unfortunately their run was four tilted off. Now, Mortem and Stoss make it to losers finals where they have.